Two mil. Just an old video. Just want to get like, a couple of shots of mm. around the building first, so I can when I edit it, I can put it all together. It's the sequence goes on it. How you feeling, Stu? I think we're going to get a lot of activity tonight. Apprehensive. Yeah, I think it'll be a good night. Are you f actually picking up on anything at all? or? Well, I, I didn't when we first arrived, but now I am starting to get a bit of a, a, yeah? bit of a feeling. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think it'll be interesting. I do think it'll be interesting. I think once it starts to get a bit darker as well, and the more people here, so we've got more energy, mm. I think, um, yeah, I think quite a lot of them picked up, I think. Yeah, so basically what you got, Stu, when you go through the, like, the green door there, that's, that's obviously where the, the wheel is to spin the water, the big one. There's two flights of stairs that actually go up. Oh, right. Um, so this part here, is that joined to that? Yeah. Or is it this building and that? I thought, okay, then I need to explain not only what is a ghost, but what does the word mean? Now, come on, you're all ghosting, aren't you? You all believe on your what's it mean? Ghost. G H O S T. What does it mean? Come on, you you can I'm trying to go see a ghost You're here tonight hoping yeah. you're gonna see a ghost sense You have a ghost in the back of your car? I yeah. guess we just don't know, do we? What does the word mean? I'm assuming it's something like for something. No, no, it what? Well, um, if you go to the Oxford English Dictionary, then it says the spirit and soul, of a, the disembodied spirit or soul of a dead person. Okay. No, afraid not. Um, it's well over 3,000 year old word, word Proto-Indo-European. Goist. G-H-O-I-D-Z. Goist. What does it mean? To be frightened of. Wow. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, right, okay. So anything we don't understand that sits in the backseat of your car, that walks up the landing but you don't see it, but you hear it, walks through the wall, pulls the hat off, the, switches the lights off, and fetches your computer, keep the... We don't understand it. We're frightened of it. It's as simple as that. From that word came uh, the Middle English word, ghost, G-O-S-T, the Old English word, gast, the Flemish word, geest, the Saxon German word Geist, of course, where your poltergeist comes from, they all come from this Proto Indo European word Goist, meaning to be frightened of. When William Caxton came over here, 1400s was it? 1500s? I'm not sure, whatever. 1400s. 1400s, uh, from Holland, I think, Holland, Belgium, whichever. Yeah, brought, his, brought his printing press with him, and he took the Middle English word Gost, G O S T, but he gave it a silent H, because that's the Flemish way of spelling it. And we got a ghost. End of story. Not quite. Have you heard, what about the old English word? Ghast. Have you ever been aghast at something? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen something ghastly? Mm -hmm. It's frightening. Yeah. That's it. Guys, do you realise we're still in the Middle Ages yeah. as regards ghosts? Yeah. We're frightened of all these things that we see and hear and sense and feel because we don't understand it. And so we label it a ghost. I would like to change the name to energy. Because that's what it is, it's an energy source that is around, that occupies things, that leaves the body, the, the vessel on point of death. It goes somewhere. Don't ask me where. I don't, know. I don't think it goes up there, and I don't think it goes down there, but I think it goes to another dimension, another spiritual plane, another spiritual level, another frequency. It goes somewhere. Because as Einstein told us many, many years ago, you can't destroy energy. Yeah, you can't. You can alter its state. And someone did, did, did sort of piss on my bonfire a few months ago and said, well, yeah, it just goes into the ground and fertilises daffodils. But no, no, that's not. That's the rotting vessel that held the energy, that contained the energy, that leaves the body on point of death. I'm convinced of that. It's absolutely 
definite, because I mean, they've been experimenting in Russia for years, uh, weighing bodies, people, on point of death, and they all um, lose 21 grams of weight, on point of death, not evacuation of the body, something that leaves, the, it's about an ounce, isn't it, 21 yeah. grams, I think, something leaves the body on point of death. And uh, the other bit to add to that, our thoughts have frequencies, and frequencies have weight. Now that means, genuinely, that we're actually not that far from Star Wars and use the Force, because we are mentally capable of moving things. In the same way as when Einstein told us that light, light actually doesn't have weight, does it? But, it? but when light hits mass, it causes it to move, mm. and that's why space probes have light sails. Because when light... With a very heavy book on top of it, and it was up. The window was up. Was up yeah. there, and, and I left those two books on the floor by my bed. And I came back at about five o'clock. We finished. It was yeah. all over. Yeah. We finished filming. John Dibley had put the cameras away. Yeah. And I went into my room and saw, saw the books up there, and, and I, I went and fetched them. But of course, he'd finished. He's oh, finished shit. filming. Yeah. I said, John, you've got to get the camera out. Yeah. So, so I'm not being funny about this, but it wasn't, it wasn't staged, it wasn't fixed. No. And he didn't want to do it, because he wanted to get to bed. Because yeah. at 5 o'clock in the morning, by, yeah. by 10 or 11, he got me out of the room. Yeah. And we had enough. And, we had enough. And, and then the best bit was, at the end of it, because Carl and Yvette lived close to the village, and I can't remember the net where it was, I can't yeah. it's in Cheshire, and, and Yvette said to me, Richard, don't go back and sleep in that room that night. Have our room. And she was she was a woman. She said, we've done nothing in it that night, so you'd be all right to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. But she says, have our room and sleep in our room. Don't go back in that room. Now, that's not, that wasn't on camera. No, no. She said that to me. And, and it was as genuine as I can believe, because we couldn't reconstruct it no, properly anyway. No. And, and they didn't, they knew I was in my room. But the, the other little bit that adds to it to me is that I was in room nine, but there was a screw missing out of the, the number, and it had gone down, it looked like room six. So if anybody had said, which room's Richard in, we want to fake something. Oh, okay, yeah, they got to They, they yeah. would think it was room six. Yeah. And I'd locked the door of my room, and unless they have got a skeleton key yeah. to unlock it. So it's highly unlikely that they've done it. And if they had have done it, they'd have done it while, while the show was still yeah. going, while they were still filming. The so I, th I think it was genuine. There are lots of things on the show that were genuine. Really good, yeah. yeah. But I know for a fact there were things on it that weren't. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but I never it's caught so anybody yeah, yeah. doing it. No, that door's just yeah. shut completely yeah, yeah. on its own. That door's just shut on its own. I know it's easier. We've all just gone through. The spirit's in here. Well, that door. It is on the spirit. It does shut itself. No, we've all come through it. Let's open it up again. We had it opened up wide, didn't we? And it was wide. It will shut up a certain amount of time. Yeah. Was it open when it came up? Yeah, why? No, it wasn't, was it? It opened up. I don't know. I opened it. That's human, it wasn't there. Yeah. But if it's, um, well, it's going to go on um, Richard's gadget. Well, at least, at least six, possibly more. Right. Five. 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 Five.
Stand. Stand. I think I is better than stand. Okay. I think. John, could you close the door for us, please?
did you work in the building downstairs where, where the blacksmiths were? Did you work in the building where the blacksmiths blacksmith was? Thank you, sir. Okay. Were you were you a blacksmith? A farrier, a blacksmith? Is it moving or not? Not really. No, sir. Okay. Were you, um, I think what, were you a boiler man? Or did you um, work on that amazing um, boiler that's downstairs that, that you had to feed, uh, feed with coal? Yes, I, th I think. Spirit, can I just ask you, um, you're doing fantastic. It's a wonderful job you do. There's tons of positive energy here working for you, sir. Use our energy and, and make the um, make your answers a little bit clearer. If you can move the contraption even even stronger and farther over, will you try that for me? So just take it a lot farther over for me, so that that's absolutely fantastic. That gives us a real positive yes or no. Thank you very much, sir. So. Um, that's why I never really was and why he was here. <clears throat> Are you the gentleman that, that was coming through downstairs near the boiler? Is your name John? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Come on. Alright, John, thank you. Um, I'm being a bit rude here because we're asking you all these questions. We haven't even introduced ourselves and I apologise. We know your name is John. Yeah. My name is that's not good, that's wow. Not good. Oh, no. Good. Right, sir. My name's Richard. I'm Stuart. I'm Gary. I'm Diana. I'm Tanya. I'm Peter. I'm Claire. We'll say good evening to you again. Um, we're all friends here. John. Um, no, as long as the best to be in the book. John, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say were you downstairs affecting us when we were down in the corner where the stool is? Yeah. 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 Well, you get a very tiny bit. I think this one's pronounced. Were you in charge up here? Were you the main man? Oh, were you? Wow, look at that. Thank you. Yes, I was holding it as go. That's the other thing. It doesn't. It should drop over. Yeah. Were you a very proud man? Did you work with John Smart? Or are you John Smart? Oh. 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 Mm. That's what I was just offering you. Yeah. No, I'll make your arms out and show Did you have a connection with the young boy called Edgar? Was he your son? Is there a young girl in this room? Mm. Was she stood in a corner near where the desk is? Where the desk is now? Is her name Emily? Do you know what? That's the name I was getting. It seems so obvious. Your daughter. Granddaughter. John, did you die the black death? John, are you still alive?
Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Okay. There's the tunnel. <laughs> if you show me by light form that you hear. Make a noise.
weird. Get anything here? You're here. Show yourself.
Come on. Action. Oh man. Leave something. Yeah, yeah, not, not a sausage made, nothing. I've always done the blacksmith room on my own and all that, nothing. Yeah. That was interesting, that. Oh, yeah. yeah.